We've published the document we would like to put forward, as Rutland's final local plan. This means, we've now reached the statutory consultation stage, known as Regulation 19, in the local plan making process. In this video, we'll talk about how this stage works, to help you take part in the formal public consultation, taking place from the 27th of August to the 6th of November. The Regulation 19 consultation is used to gather feedback on two specific areas. Is the local plan sound? And is the plan legally compliant? To be judged as sound, local plans have to pass four tests. The first test is that the plan is positively prepared. This means the plan includes a vision for how it will meet local needs that have been identified. For example, housing, school and employment needs. The second test is that the plan is justified. This means that the plan has chosen the right vision out of all the options available and is based on clear evidence backed up by facts. The third test is that the plan is effective. This means it's possible to achieve everything included in the plan within the given timescales. And the fourth test is that the plan is consistent with national policy. You can find the National Planning Policy Framework on the government's website at www.gov.uk forward slash guidance. For a local plan to be legally compliant, there are rules which must have been followed during the plan making process. The process must have followed the timetable set out in the latest local development scheme. Include a sustainability appraisal and habitat regulations assessment. Any consultation must have been carried out in the ways described in the Statement of Community Involvement. The plan should also comply with any relevant laws and must meet the duty to cooperate. This means that the council must work with neighboring local authorities and organizations when planning to address issues that affect the local area across county boundaries. You can find information and evidence reports about the steps we've taken to make Rutland's local plan both sound and legally compliant on our website. The public consultation is your final chance to have your say on the contents of the local plan. You will be asked to submit comments, called representations, on whether you think the local plan document is sound and legally compliant. To find out how you can take part in the consultation on Rutland's local plan, please watch our video. After the consultation closes, we'll look at the representations that were made. We'll then submit our local plan, along with the valid representations made, to the Secretary of State for the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government. The Secretary of State will then appoint an independent planning inspector to carry out a public examination of the plan. The inspector is likely to make recommendations on how we can make our plan even stronger. As part of the public examination, the inspector will use the National Planning Policy Framework and the representations made during the consultation to decide whether Rutland's local plan is sound and legally compliant. We hope you found this information helpful. There are other videos about the local plan process and how you can get involved on our website.